Hi, in this video I will show you how to clone local disk to local disk with Clonezilla. Before starting, I present to you my need to clone the disks on local. I have three desktop computers that I need to upgrade their disk on SSD. For that, I will prepare a disk and have it cloned on the two other disks. This allows us to save time for each install and especially not do the same task several times. So, I prepared a disk, I installed Ubuntu 2004 and tools like Java, Chrome, Visual Studio Code, etc. Afterward, I plugged the two disks into a Dell desktop computer to do the cloning, the source is the disk installed, and the destination is the clean disk. Let's start. I will use Clonezilla Live. Clonezilla is a free disk cloning and data recovery program. It has limitations like the destination partition must be equal or larger than the source one, else you cannot make cloning between two local disks. There you can see that I plugged two disks on a desktop, the first is the source where Ubuntu 20.04 is installed, and the second is the destination. Let's begin by boot on Clonezilla Live. I use multi-bootable USB from ISO with Ventoy, you can watch the video on top. Click Enter. Choose the language. Click on Start Clonezilla. You can see Clonezilla can clone device to the image or to device. Even you can do the cloning via the network, I will make a video for that. Also, you can cloning with the Clonezilla server. Click on device to device. Choose beginner mode for the default option. Otherwise, we can select the expert, but as the name suggests is for expert users. I will suggest beginner mode it is easier. Now choose disk to local disk, for cloning the entire disk. Otherwise, you can clone just a partition for that choose the second option. This step is very very important because you can easily make a mistake to choose the source disk and the destination disk, especially when the two disks are of the same brand and the same size. This will generate reverse cloning, that is to say, clone the disk supposed to be the destination, to the disk supposed to be the source and you lose all the data. For that, you must use the serial number of the disk to make this differentiation. You can see them on the ticket on top of the disk. Choose the source disk. Choose the destination disk. Now keep the default option, and press enter. Press enter to continue. To confirm tap yes. Tap yes again. The cloning will be started.
Once cloning is complete choose power off to disconnect the source disk and do a boot test for the destination disk. You can see that Ubuntu started without problems on the cloned disk. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of this video in the comment. Make sure to subscribe, so you don't miss out on my future videos.